So now that we've looked at how to find a least squares regression line or a regression line, uh, which is another way of saying the line of best fit, we're going to have a look at how we interpret the A and the B from the formula, from the equation of the line, sorry. So remember that the equation is written in the form of Y equals A plus BX. And as we've talked about previously, in the regressions video, we said that from GCSE, A is like our Y intercept and B B is like our gradient. However, we cannot describe them using those words because we need to talk about it in context. So when we talk about A, we are talking about the y-intercept when the x value is zero. So we have to say when the, and we insert there whatever the x variable is, is zero whatever the x units are, the whatever the y variable is, is whatever our a value is and then whatever our units are for y. When we're interpreting b, remember that that's the gradient, so it's whenever the whatever the x value variable is increases by one, whatever the units are, the whatever the y variable is, increases or decreases and that depends on whether we have a positive or a negative value for b by whatever b is and then whatever the units are for y so we're going to have a look at an example of this so we have our data here and this should look very familiar to you i am going to put it into my calculator again though so we have five it's five point seven 6.5, 7, 7.6, 8.5, 9.5, and then we have 6.21, 6 6.12, 5.9, 5.8, 5.9, 5.9, 5 5 5.31, 5.32, and 5.11. Again, double check that you've typed in all those values correctly. Remember how important that this bit is, even in an interpretation question. Then we go to calc, reg, x, a plus bx. And remember, we're writing it in that form that I wrote down at the top, y equals a plus bx. So y equals... 7.15 minus 0.203x. So when we're interpreting what the value of A and the value of B are, remember that A is our first number here. Remember we're interpreting it as this sentence here. So when the, and the X variable is the load. So when the load is zero and the units is tons the and then the y variable is fuel consumption is a which is 7.15 and then we have to use the units for the y values which are kilometers per liter then when we're interpreting the value of B, that's our minus 0 0.203, we have when the X variable, which is the load, increases by one, and it's gonna to be ton. The Y variable, which is fuel consumption, And then because the value for our B is negative, that means that we're going to go for decreases. So decreases by 0 0.203. And again, the units for Y are kilometers per litre. 
Now, if you notice there, because I put the word decreases in there, I don't have to say decreases by minus because if you think about that, that's a double negative and that turns it into a positive. So you don't need to worry about the sign of your value for B when you put it into words down here because that's been taken care of by using the word increases or decreases. So I'd like you to pause the video now and give the now you try a go. So hopefully you've given the now you try a go now. So hopefully you've got the regression line of y equals 2.54 plus 0.604x. And now this, this uh, context here isn't the best, uh, but it's just practicing how we could rephrase it. You don't have to use word for word the sentences that we've given at the top. So here we have when judge x gives a rank of 0, judge y gives a rank of 2.54. So that's our interpretation of A. And for our interpretation of B, we have when judge x, x's rank increases by 1 rank, judge y rank increases by 0 0.604. Now sometimes you might find that you have to give... Uh, a little bit of an extra explanation especially if your a value ends up being negative so let's say that we were interpreting uh, if we had a separate question where the regression line was y equals minus 27 plus 2.65 x and let's say that we were talking about the temperature of water uh, near a radiator then when we're interpreting our y-intercept we'd have when the room temperature is zero the water temperature is minus 27 let's say degrees c however that doesn't make any sense as if it was minus 27 degrees c it wouldn't be water anymore as it would have frozen so in this case here you'd have to add an extra step on there to say however at this temperature the water would be frozen. You could also have something like uh, if we had y equals um, minus 3 plus 2.4x and we were talking about the reading age and actual age Again, we would have something there where we were ending up with a negative and it doesn't make sense for your actual age to be negative or for your reading age to be negative. So you'd have to add a little bit of an amendment on there as well. So you just need to be careful that when you are doing your interpretations for things like uh, your A value, that they do make sense. Thank you very much for listening.